Hey! Have you seen a spider climb on walls? Well, I haven't seen a real spider. But I can bet we can make a wall climbing spider ourselves. Here's what we need. Some colored paper, a roll of thick string, a straw, some markers, scissors and tape. Let's start with a spider. No, not a real spider, but a paper one. You can draw a spider with the help of the markers on the paper and then cut it with the help of the scissors. I already have my spider ready. Then we'll cut two pieces of straw around half the size of the paper spider. Attach them to the back of the paper spider using tape. Like this. Now cut a long piece of string which is longer than yourself. You can keep the length around 2 meters or 6.5 feet. Then thread this string through both the straws such that the ends hang at the bottom. And the climbing spider is ready! Now let's see what the spider can do. And for that, hang the string on a hook like I've done here. Grab both the ends of the string like this. Then pull the string from one end and then from the other. Keep your hands somewhat far apart as you do this. Wow! This spider is climbing up! But how? It's all because of friction. Let me tell you how. As we pull down the right side of the string, it starts slipping through the straw without touching it much. Since there is not much contact between them, there is very little friction. But as the right side is moving down, the left side automatically starts to move up since it is the same string. While moving up, the string gets pushed against the left straw and ends up trying to slide against it. This produces friction between them. We know that friction is the force that opposes motion between two objects. So, the straw clings to the string and gets pulled up along with it. Thus, the left side of the spider tilts up. And the same happens when we pull the left side of the string, the spider's right side is tilted up. So that's how this spider climbs further up every time we pull the string. Do you think this would be possible if we applied oil on the string? Let us know in the comments below and share your creative climbers with us using the Google form in the description. For more such fun science projects, stay tuned to our channel.